London, a highly anticipated investigation into numerous COVID-19 lockdown breaking parties at Prime Minister Boris Johnson's office and residence has been released, intensifying pressure on the embattled Conservative Party leader. The comprehensive report from senior civil servant Sue Gray found that many of the gatherings held in Downing Street and Whitehall during COVID lockdowns over the last two years should not have been allowed to happen. Whatever the initial intent, what took place at many of these gatherings and the way in which they developed was not in line with COVID guidance at the time, the report said. Even allowing for the extraordinary pressures officials and advisors were under, the factual findings of this report illustrate some attitudes and behaviors inconsistent with that guidance. Gray had launched an inquiry following media reports of gatherings and alleged parties in government buildings during COVID lockdowns over a 20-month period. Johnson is expected to make a statement to the House of Commons later in the day. Gray's full report comes after even more revelations in recent days of further alcohol-fueled social events held in Downing Street during COVID lockdowns, with Johnson pictured raising a glass at a leaving due on November 13, 2020. The images, obtained by ITV News, prompted fresh claims from opposition lawmakers that Johnson had knowingly misled Parliament when he previously told the House of Commons that no rules had been broken. When asked on Wednesday whether public opinion likely reflected the end of the road for Johnson's time in office, Ipsos CEO Ben Page said, on the numbers I have at the moment, not yet. Speaking to CNBC's Squawk Box Europe in Davos, Switzerland, Page said Johnson is unpopular but the fact that people think he may have lied in one way is priced in. Lawmakers who deliberately mislead Parliament are expected to offer their resignation to the Prime Minister, according to the Ministerial Code, an official set of principles on how politicians should conduct themselves.